Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hey, feeding my chickens this morning, I had the idea, hey, I think I'll just paint some more of my feathered friends with a lot of fluids. Here we go, I'll see you back in my studio. So now let's paint. I like birds, I have many of them around here. I have hens laying eggs all over the place. So why not paint them? Because they're comical. You know, the big round fluffy things and with tiny little heads and tiny little tails and real long skinny feet. So I kind of treat them that way when I paint. Kind of fun, circusy kinds of paintings. So I'm gonna show you two ways. One is where I paint directly on the paper, adding lots of layers of acrylic paint. And then I'm gonna show you and do a demonstration here of the inks and the acrylic inks that are fantastic. They're almost like a dye. So let's get started. Okay, down here on this table, I've started some. And you see, I like to work with the Holbein acrylic uh, paints, but I thin them way down, really way down. And I get a big brush, a big brush, not a skinny brush. This whole thing is to loosen up. I wet the brush, there's my paints. Really, really, really wet almost treats it like a watercolor. And I just put down big shapes, go big goofy shapes like that. Basically it's a shape like that. Looks like the letter V, a V, right? There you go, just like that, right? Now I'm gonna start adding some color, just for fun. This is still nice and wet. See how transparent it is? All right. Well, let's put a head up there, why not? go. How goofy can we get? Let's throw some tail feathers up in here, just like that. You see? We're not trying to do anatomically correct animals here. <laughs> We're here to have it like way too much fun. And uh, chickens have really, really skinny legs. Comes off the back a little bit like that. And so there. That's an interesting bird shape, right? Again, the whole idea is to stay really wet and let it just bleed into each other, one after another, one after another. And then you do a whole page, just like this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> anyway, almost looks like a cardinal, or one of those birds from the jungles, right? Anyway, so this is how I practice a lot of, over and over and over, and then I continue it, and start bringing in the background. And when I bring in the backgrounds, I readjust the shape. These are strictly warm-ups. They're fun to do on one whole page, too, as a matter of fact. Eventually, I'm gonna come over and start working on the bigger one, but I want you to see the shape. The shape is basically a big triangle with a little triangle over here and a little triangle over there. Chickens have little heads, all right, and long skinny legs. So I like to put that character into the much larger ones too when I work. Kind of simple, but it's a nice fun exercise when you want to do a magnificent painting. But let's do have some warm ups and have some fun. Now all, over here, this is like way crazy fun. I'm gonna start showing you this next in a demo of how I like to do my drip birds. You've seen the drip trees. This is how I do my drip birds. Stay tuned. So let's get going here with the Holbein acrylic inks. They're transparent, they're opaque, they're fantastic. And what's really nice about them is that they act like an ink, but they dry as an acrylic paint, permanent. Pretty nice, huh? So I have them here all taped together so they don't fall over. I put about nine bottles together. I tape, put tape around it, right? Pretty cool. My bucket of water. A little brush, oh my gosh, Bob is using a little brush. And I have uh, my spray water butter bottle. I'm ready to go, all right? Here we go. Then I'll just start off with some purple. We'll just see where this goes. Big shape down. I'm just gonna keep going through several of them. Doing blue one. Again, these are the inks. I 
like to give him some personality. Oh, big belly, hunching over, big tails. Big tail. Working all of them at the same time. All the time. See, here come the, here come the legs. Really make that dark. Lots of water. There's one. There's the other one. This is ridiculous. That has three legs. Good. It's the whole idea is to start loose and stay loose. Don't start putting in the eyeballs and things like that. Oh my gosh. And the beaks. Look at that. Now what's really cool is I, I just get rid of some of these. I don't have to have them all here. I might emphasize them even more so. There's a little fatty up in here. There we go. Now see I'm making adjustments. But you always start off ridiculously loose. Now here's one of the nice things about working with these transparent colors. There's all kinds of havoc goes on now. Whoa, well, wow. this is fun to do with every age, by the way. Holidays are coming up. You might want to think, think of a family project. Here we go. I'm just using any colors I feel like using. And that's where it starts to turn into magic. I don't plan it. If you don't play like this, when will you play in the studio? Woo! I'm this mean looking bird. He's got his back up, his tail's down. Anyway, it's fun like this, isn't it? It's great fun. And one after another, after another, and after another. And um, you can do it on craft paper. It doesn't have to be really nice paper. This is a roll of white paper. It doesn't have to be really nice paper. It's a great thing to do with your grandkids. You'll be a hero and there'll be a mess everywhere. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this quick little foul painting. Alrighty, and enjoy. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Thanks for watching. Hi there. I'm Bob Burridge, and this is all about Date Night with Bob. We just got finished doing one. See the paintings behind me? This is a two hour kind of a Zoom painting workshop is what it is. And we were painting for two hours. You can either do it along with me or you can sit back and have a, an adult beverage and watch at the same time. This is called a fun thing we're gonna be doing. We've done them already, so it's called Date Night with Bob. And don't you want to do that on a, whatever nights we have? Check out the schedule. It's right behind me. And we're going to be painting like crazy. I'll see you on Date Night with Bob. Hi there, this is Bob Burridge. And I was just thinking, you know, in this time of separation and by yourselves and you're in your studio, I was thinking, I think we're all writing letters, love letters to everybody. And so I got another idea. So let's do another virtual exhibition. It's free, no jurors, and who wouldn't want to put out their paintings of their interpretation of love notes. Let me give you some ideas. It doesn't have to be hearts and flowers and all the traditional stuff. Expand your mind for, you know, I have made some notes here, love notes, which could be the written word. It could be musical notes, physical contact. It could be hearts and flowers and champagne and candy and love letters. It can also be by yourself. Okay, just think about that. So it could be traditional, 
or abstract. It's your interpretation of love notes. And as I like to say, show me your love, baby. So, here's how to include your painting. Sorry I had to read that, but I wanted to get it all down there, and this is gonna be exciting, and I can't wait to see all your work. So I'll talk to you a little bit later about that, so get started. Love Notes, your interpretation.